Now for what I always found to be the most difficult part of the game. You have to memorise the uh, code for the handle on the safe of the uh, store manager's place thing. Safe. <laughs> it's always ten o'clock on the island. Open the doors. Open the door. Open the door, guy brush. There we go. Ahoy there, fancy pants. I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, are you? Got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get you one of my notes and we'll fill it out. This is the bit you've got to remember. One. All the way. Back. Down. Up. Whoa. I think I got it. You do get another chance to see it. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog swilling, foul smelling pirate. Foul smelling, yes. Grog swilling, maybe. But a pirate? Don't make me laugh. Come back when you've got some tattoos or a peg leg or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. So right one, left full, right, I'm writing this down as I go, right, two, left full. Come on. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. I know we've already found the Swordmaster, but this is how you get him out of the shop. What about? Nobody except me. I'll have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could take a hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. Don't touch anything! So, how do you put it? How do you pull it to the right? Yeah. So push. And then pull it, and then left again. Ah, oh, shit. Right, so. No. Right. So. Right, let's <laughs> so push it once, and then I've got to pull it all the way around. Did it wrong, didn't I? Right, pull it right. Okay, then push it all the way around. Then I pull it. Ugh, damn it. Okay, this is really, because the difference between push and pull, it varies. Right, put, right, right one. Push it left. I did it wrong again, didn't I? No. Right, pull. 
no, pull it to the right, and then push it left, all the way round, pull it twice right, and then push it all the way round again. No! <laughs> so I've got to do pull, 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 right. Push it once. No, oh, did it wrong yet? Right. Okay. Right. Pull. Push. No, wrong way, the guy brush. Right. Pull. Push. 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 Pull. Pull and push, push, push. Yes. Hmm. There's nothing in here but this note. No, oh, it's fine. Who says I'm not a pirate? I'm stealing things. So what have I got? 5,000, okay. Um, so now, I think because Stan wants something like eight grand for the, for the um, boats, but you have to get him down to at least 650, I think, before he's willing to accept a note of credit. And then we finally get off Scum, Scum Island, <laughs> Melee Island. Used ship emporium. Hi, Stan. We're back. Howdy. Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come and take a look around. So what else can I show you? Could I see that cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Let's talk money. Your money. I got a credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. Doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, bankruptcy, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you his letter of credit, then it must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Alright, uh, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it, and you know you want it. And I know that you know that I know that I want to sell it, but... <laughs> well, what do you think it's worth? Let's put away for ten grand. How does that sound to you? Let's talk extras. So basically by refusing the extras, you can um, get the price down. Porthole defoggers. <laughs> Anti-lock anger. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I like this boat. I wanted this one. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. 
Did I tell you about the Velour sail covers? Hey, travel light. I can understand that. Sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? Yeah, I, I know very little about boats, so I have no idea if <laughs> what, what exactly um, Stad is, is talking about. What about the elevator made with the wood from the burgundy wine casks? Yeah, I guess it is kind of decadent, isn't it? Simulated wood siding? Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more! Okay, we're back to the beginning. Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? What do you think it's worth? Seven grand? Seven three hundred. That's not forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. Don't go away, Matt. Just go away. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. So, are we getting a whole new shipment in this week? So you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. What do you think it's worth? Six three hundred. I think this is where he's willing to accept. Five. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Okay, okay. So yes. <laughs> All right, five thousand. And that's my final offer. Five thousand pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I feel like we really got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here, and I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really. Sucker. See you at the dock, and uh, don't forget your crew. All three of them. I think he's left like a little note on his door that says like, I've just managed to con this sucker into... I sold a ship, can you believe it? I'm off on vacation spending some sort of poor sucker's money, a Riva Dirty baby. And here we go, get off Melee Island finally. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with the ship and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? <laughs> and again, deal's a deal, right? Right. Catch you later. Good luck. Enjoy. I'm out of here. Oops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. It's my gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands. Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I couldn't pass up a chance to make some easy money. 
Money? Yeah, we're getting paid for this, right? How appropriate. You'll fight like a cow. You know, you never did use... I think I did use that one. So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that part of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go pick up my bags. I need to back my place and pick up my bags. I don't know why he said it became British. Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Part two. The journey. Face in the clouds. <laughs> Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begin to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. And it's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought I'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it is, we've got a great ship. I don't know what Otis Axe... Well, we've got a ship. <laughs> I don't know where Otis Axe is coming from. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the reel, and cruise for a little? I could work on my turn. Come to think of it, I've been pretty stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. A cruise the Caribbean. <sighs> We're doomed! Captain's log. First mate Toothbrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we believed. Captain's log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's log, March 23rd. Toothrot is rarely starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't get how we did it, but we arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soup he fixed last night, and when we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled up the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set sail to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. That's my mom's birthday. We had to turn our ship around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to use the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. That's the last entry. What? No! There's no entry for my birthday. I say my birthday's... It's weird. My, my mom's birthday's April the 5th. Mine is April the 6th. That sucks. Well, it sucks that there's no entry for my birthday. It doesn't suck that our birthdays are close together. Empty chest. Got the ink. Okay. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because I recorded this as a three hour long playthrough, there's no edits in the actual footage, so I've had to put them in now, obviously, for the editing. So, you're going to hear this message at the end of every episode. I apologise, that's going to get a little bit annoying for you. But, as always, I just wanted to say, thanks for watching, like, favourite, subscribe, share, do all of that, it really helps me out a lot. And of course, my usual sign-off, I shall see you all with another episode very soon.